What should I, 40 male, say when my wife, 36 female, doesn't make sense. Too long did not read. Sometimes my wife of 10 plus years says stuff that just doesn't make sense and blames me for not understanding. How do I respond? Example. Me. Man, our friend, is really hard working. He made it all the way to being a store manager. Pretty impressive. Her. Yeah, well his Myers-Briggs personality is the protagonist, so. Me. Oh. I'm not sure the connection there. Like. How is he the protagonist? Her. Visibly annoyed and confused. You know, the main character. The central person in the story. More annoyed, you don't understand? I've tried explaining the gaps in what she is saying. I've tried suggesting what might fill them. Oh you mean like. But it seems to always backfire. Either I don't get it right and she gets more annoyed, or she just gets annoyed I'm trying to, fix, what she said, saying something like, I meant what I said. I honestly don't really care about conversational minutia, but I would be happy she would just say like, oh, yeah I guess that's not a clear connection, and move on. But she acts like I have some kind of interpersonal deficiency for not following her tenuous connections or, ironically, caring to figure out what she might have meant. I don't think it's just me. I've seen other people confused by her leaps in logic, and she seems equally unconcerned toward them, as though they're missing the big picture by being confused. Been trying for years to get her to go to counseling, so no hope there. Also open to y'all saying it's just me. Any tips? Could use anything at this point. Just want to be able to converse with her casually and it not get weird. She's using references she thinks you know but don't. Talk to her at a time when you aren't in the middle of one of these situations. Tell her that sometimes she will reference things you don't know. So then when it happens again, say, I don't know that reference, can you explain it to me I'd like to understand. Right now she just thinks you aren't listening closely to what she's saying. My wife has so much to say sometimes that she forgets that it doesn't fit into the current conversation. It took a while but we laugh about it now and move on. Once, she gets the idea that you are actually listening, it should relieve some of the tension. Good luck could be a sign of neurodiversity. To her the connection is crystal clear and she doesn't get why your brain hasn't seen the same pattern as hers. Not a diagnosis etc etc. Just say, maybe you're right. She's obviously annoyed you're not getting her, pretty unfairly, but maybe she thinks you're disagreeing with her, rather than not understanding. You could try a more gentle approach, such as, interesting, can you tell me more about that? Hopefully she will expand on her idea, rather than feel like she is on the defensive. IDK this makes sense to me? She's saying that he did so well because he's the protagonist personality type leaders that often excel in careers. You aren't deficient though for not following. You just communicate differently. Also it may take some knowledge of Myers-Briggs tests, so some things she says might need extra knowledge. Edit. I meant for this example he might need to know what protagonist is. My comment is addressing the one point. I didn't address the other part because there's nothing he can do if she's not willing to talk except get couples counseling so they can communicate better or tell her he really wants to understand and how can they get there. Everyone else had that covered already though, so I just focused on this one example. My, M35, partner, F32, of three years wants me to work full time but I'm happy as it is. I'm working in a fairly well paying position by local standards. It's not that I completely dislike my occupation, it's a permanent government-related job paying an upgraded salary in my field, but it's really rather boring. By 2019 I reduced my working hours by 40%. That seems a lot, yes, but I was still easily able to pay rent for my apartment in an in-demand well-connected neighborhood in a big in-demand city. Note. I'm living in Germany at the moment so essentially all apartments are rent-controlled with indefinite contracts. Pay for three long international vacations a year and save 8.500 euro on top at year's end after all cost of living expenses, pension payments and healthcare are 100% covered at that point. I also discovered that I'm generally much happier now. I get sufficient sleep almost every day. I have time, nerves to exercise five days a week. I expanded doing rather intellectually more stimulating, meaningful voluntary work in a field I'm really interested in anti-corruption campaigning in politics, achieving measurable impact. I'm stress-free and yes, I also have more free time to just do, unreasonable, things like watching a movie. But unfortunately my partner of three years is getting more and more unhappy with my situation. Me working part-time wasn't an issue when we met. But after moving in together about a year ago, she started commenting on, if I'm not bored, or that I'm lucky, 
but not in a congratulatory way. This recently escalated to a point where she is almost insistent that I work full time. Just to be clear, she is in general a nice person and well educated. And it's not an imbalance of income despite working full time as team leader. Her salary is about the same as my part time salary. For her, it's about generating more savings for our future. We didn't talk it out in detail, but it seems for her the idea of buying a house, if affordable, seems to be a life goal. And, just slacking off, if instead I could use that time to acquire more income at least, within reason, is something that needs a serious reason for her. I guess it doesn't help that I'm the only man in my wider circle who decided to work part time. So, how to resolve this growing tension? Splitting up over this would probably not solve the issue. I like her and a potential different future partner would probably have a similar attitude. In Germany, it seems men rarely work part time voluntarily. On the other hand, working part time really made me a happier person. I'm not struggling to pay my bills. And if it comes up, I'm fine with raising kids in a city apartment, rather than buying a house and two cars to commute from the suburbs. Am I destined to choose between a partner or a happy part time life? Am I destined to choose between a partner or a happy part time life? No, there are people out there that agree with you. Find one who does. Actually, breaking up would solve the issue for your partner. If her long term life goals are different from your own, that's what called incompatibility you being happier, getting sufficient sleep, and having the time, nerve to exercise is great for you, but it does nothing for her and doesn't further her aspirations. If she's willing to be more stressed, Sleep less and not have time for exercise to further an investment in homeownership. It's pretty understandable why your life choices bother her. You're not destined to choose between having a partner and having a part time life. You're just not going to get that with this particular partner. You two are mismatch. Clearly, for her, it's not just about the money, but it's also about the effort. She puts in 100% effort into contributing to the household while you put in 50%. I'm not saying right or wrong. I just think your values and future goals are incompatible. You're living the dream. I would never give that up to be honest. I disagree that you'd be unable to find any different women in Germany, especially if you're very upfront from the beginning about your philosophy. But other than breaking up or working more, I'm not sure what advice you're looking for. On second thoughts, deleted first comment. If it's not an issue of jealousy over your lifestyle, it just might be incompatibility. Maybe she wants the house in the suburbs with four kids, trust funds for the two kids, etc., etc., all the things that come with big dollar, euro, I guess, sign. Maybe you need to talk about where you see yourselves in the next five years. If your dreams are vastly different, well, she wanting you to work full time is only the tip of the iceberg. Myself 24M, girlfriend 23F laying on her brother's best friend while her brother is passed out. Hey I have a question and need honest opinions. If you were dating a girl for 3 years and her brother, 28M, and her brother's best friend, 27M, they have known for 12 years is at your house but you're not there. You get home her brother is passed out but your girlfriend is laying on her brother's best friend and his arm is around her. Would you consider that cheating or suspicious? This has never happened before, to my knowledge. Your girlfriend says it was innocent however she admitted that he was flirting with her. What would you do? Edit. Thanks for the responses so far. I was in complete shock. I went to shower and came out and confronted them both. They were not sitting close to each other anymore. They both didn't seem too defensive but I think they were in shock as well. I kicked him out and told him to call an Uber. Her brother was passed out during all of this. Sorry dude, but she isn't your girlfriend anymore. Totally disrespectful to your relationship. What reason could she give to say that was okay? They're cuddling? Yay yeah, that's cheating. Especially if she knew he was being flirtatious. Ask her how she would feel if you were cuddling another woman like that. Either something happened or she likes the attention he gives her and becomes disrespectful. Ask her if it's okay if you lay on her best girlfriend. Then throw her out too. My boyfriend, 28M, hit me, 28F, with a hairbrush because I don't ever listen. I was working with my boyfriend on one of his side jobs, which I'm not paid for. All day he was mad at me because I wasn't listening. It started the night before when he showed me a clip from a movie about Exodus. I asked him during the clip if he thought the algae bloom theory is right. He stopped the clip and restarted it. He got extremely angry and kept telling me to stop talking and watch the clip. 
Throughout the night he kept bringing this back up about how I'm so rude, and I am just the worst for not waiting until the clip was over. Weeks ago he got mad at me over ripping his blanket off of him when I got tangled in the blankets. He said I did it four times and it only didn't happen a fifth time because he screamed at me. Before the fifth time I told him I'd go get another blanket, but this inflamed the situation and he said I can't just skirt around issues like that, I need to be more careful and stop ripping the blanket off. He brought this up today about how this is the same thing as me interrupting the Exodus clip and not listening to him. He yelled at me for two hours on the job we were working on today, and I ended up having a breakdown and I felt really weird and unstable. He asked me if I took my Zoloft, asked if I was on my period, etc. After this he yelled at me because I wasn't moving fast enough and I didn't do whatever he told me to do well enough. I'm like on the verge of a breakdown. I end up crying and he tells me I'm like a four-year-old child. After work he and I talked and were okay. We order pizza, go outside to the car to wait. He wants to brush his hair, so I give him a mini brush that was in my purse. He asks me for my water bottle to put water in his hair. I put some water in my hand and get the back of his head where he missed. He immediately tips his head up and stands up straight again. He was looking down and kinda hunched over, and hit me really hard on the thigh with the plastic brush. It's like 20 degrees Fahrenheit out. It stung so bad where he hit me. Immediately my eyes started to well up and I said why would you hit me? That hurt so bad. I don't ever want to be hit with anything. He told me to stop being a victim, and I knew that I was too rough with his hair and I was not listening once again and also he did not hit me hard like I am saying. He tells me that he knows if we have kids that I would just do whatever I wanted with them and not ever listen to what he wants. He also uses analogies s. TLDR. I feel like this is beyond abuse, right? I don't know if this is worth leaving him over or if I should let it slide and talk to him more tomorrow about how if this ever happens again, then I'm done. I'm so upset. I feel like everything I did today was wrong. I came over to his house yesterday because he was getting over a cold, and I made him homemade chicken noodle soup and gave him cold medicine. I am helping him on a job. I feel like a joke. Nothing I am doing is making him happy and he actually hit me. This is abuse. You can't stay with a man that hits you. I'm so sorry. Stop rationalizing his fucked up behavior. You are not the problem. Do not I repeat do not stay a moment longer in this relationship. There is nothing to wait around for. This is emotional and physical abuse. If it's the first time he hit you, know that it will get worse. None of the things you describe as normal. Get out now, but make a plan before you do. Abusive partners get a lot worse when they are left because they hate their authority and control being questioned. Pack your things when he's not around. Change your number, find a safe place to go and never look back. I recommend also calling a domestic abuse refuge and speaking with them. They'll do an assessment for you to help evaluate the risk you're facing. Please get out. This will only get worse, and if you stay, he'll grind every aspect of you down until all you say, all you do is a reflection of what he wants you to be. He's abusive. Don't stay with him. He's manipulating you. You're doing him a service working for him without pay and he's screaming at you. You take care of him and he hits you. Don't doubt your sanity. Never let it slide when someone screams at you and start to hit you. It's time for you to go. He doesn't respect and love you anymore.